for uh, giving us uh, your time uh, okay. to contribute Thanks to this series for of interviews. Thanks for inviting me here. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Yeah. So I was wondering if I could uh, start asking you to introduce yourself. So who are you, your name, where you work? Uh, my name is Ismail Inosma and I work at the National Institute for Health and Welfare in Finland. And uh, there's a research unit on, on uh, which concentrate on research on uh, economic research on, on health and social care. So it's Center for Health and um, uh, Center for Health and uh, Social Economic. It's a unit that concentrates on, on the research on, uh, on, on economics of uh, health and social care. And I work there as a research professor and my responsibility is, is to look at the economic issues in social care services. Okay, and, and when you mean social care, because it, it can be defined very differently in different yeah. countries, so that we know what you mean, which group of uh, users or which services are you, are you talking about? Well, usually well, we think about long-term care, we think about services uh, provided for children and families, and we think about s services provided for uh, uh, those who have uh, problems with substance abuse, and, and, uh, and of course we have uh, services for disabled people and, and um, um, some services for mental health patients like accommodation and housing and these kind of services. Very good. Maybe and, so, covers. And, and concentrating on now uh, on the adult population yes. of people with long-term care needs, yes. um, what would you say are the three main priorities, policy priorities at the moment in Finland? Uh, I think the, uh, there has been a sort of longer trend uh, uh, to move people away from institutions and more to residential care and, and, and to homes. And uh, that's one of the big trends that has, I think it has been going on for, for some time already. And uh, the other thing is that uh, there is a willingness uh, among the policy makers to improve the quality and services of, uh, at, at residential care. I would mention these two. Mm -hmm. Things. This is not my. Uh, yeah, I should follow this more, more closely. But this is my ideas about these trends. Fantastic. Um, and do you, so do you do you see those priorities are, as being there in five, ten years' time, or do you think that they might change? Yes, I think uh, uh, there has been more emphasis on on home care services recently, and uh, and uh, I believe that in the future this will stay there. And also, there will be more emphasis on, on sort of uh, providing better, uh, better quality services at, at residential care. Mm. So, what, what about the financial side? I mean, there's lots of countries worrying about uh, you know financial crisis. Is that something have, that is having an effect on the Finnish uh, long-term care system? Yes, yes, I think that that's a that's a very important thing because in Finland, the you know um, uh, the we are in the forefront of the of this general global trend where of growing elderly population so um, we are going to have uh, um, very many old people um, retired people and also those people who are using a lot of um, long-term care services uh, first first country in the Europe so so we are exp uh, and this is something that we are dealing at the moment and uh, and and to my opinion, I would say that uh, we'll, we still haven't had the very good proposals on how to deal with the financial issues related to long-term related to long-term care. Thank you. So, yeah. if you, if you if you had the power, if you had you know if you were you know some sort of benevolent dictator, yeah. what sort of policy measure would you introduce in Finland if you had to choose one? Uh, I have to choose one. Okay, so. Uh, Maybe I'll say a few things about the finance afterwards, mm -hmm. but but uh, I always start to think about uh, what is good for the clients and patients, which sector depend depending which se sector you are looking at. So on this basis, we know that uh, we have some e evidence from the literature that people are not willing to stay at institutions. So their willingness to pay for mm -hmm. institutional good care is quite low. Actually, it's. Uh, Negative. <laughs> so uh, on this basis, I would uh, I would emphasize uh, home care and 
uh, and informal care somehow. And maybe we should have more public support for those in those areas. Mm -hmm. Very good. You wanted to say something about financial? Financial, yes. Okay. Uh, I think we need, uh, in terms of information, that we need need how to deal with this question about about finance of long term care. We need more and better, reli more reliable information on costs of long term long term care services, long term care services, and then uh, of course we would uh, need to have a very good alternative models on how to finance. How to finance the increasing use of services and increasing costs. Very good. Um, so now that was, I guess, what you see as the policy priorities. But in terms of the research side, so if uh, what would be that piece of research that is outstanding that could then really help, you know, uh, you know progress policy development in the Finnish long-term care system? Yes, I think um, I think it comes down to the. We should have. Uh, we should look at. Um, first of all, we should have better data, at the, uh, which is uh, individual level data, and on that basis we could uh, then uh, try to assess the uh, first the use of services in Finland, but also how much is it costing, uh, what are the average costs and total costs of long term care services in Finland, and. Uh, of course, the, and we should look also at the effectiveness of these services on, on the welfare of clients. But then, the, uh, you know, the big question is uh, how should we do research on, on alternative models how to finance, because how to finance the long-term care services, because that's, uh, that is something that is happening in the future, so we should have some sort of more sort of uh, theoretical ideas, if mm -hmm. you like, on, on the models and maybe we could do some simulation using those models and then choose the best way, the best financing model on, on long-term care. That sounds very interesting. Yes. So now I would like to ask you just a, some, a round of quick questions. Yes. And, and so I would ask you to, to rate on a scale from one, one being the worst and ten being the best. Mm -hmm. Um, you know how you, you, you see, for example, um, the, the the priority that is given by policy to long term care mm -hmm. in Finland. Yes, I think it's very high. I would give something like eight. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. fantastic. And um, how aware, so you know, how well informed do you think is the general public about what the long term care system has to offer them in Finland? I think they're quite aware of, of, of the services that are provided to them, so uh, let's say uh, seven. Mm -hmm. yes. Great. Um, and um, you know, how well does, in your view, the system support people with long-term care needs, again, on a one to ten scale? Uh, that's also very good, so I will keep the same, seven. Great. Yeah. Well, I'm going to move yeah. there soon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what about their carers? That's lower. I mean, uh, that's four. That's, four. Yeah. Very good. And and one last one. How well integrated, in your view, are health and social care services? They they are not very well integrated in Finland, and uh, I think there should be more integration because we have a lot of a uh, lot of people who are using both sectors. So I don't see any reason why it should be so separated. So that's, yeah. that's uh, probably a low figure then, uh, in terms of a 1 to 10? Uh, okay, so yeah, I'll give 4 again. Yes. 4? Yeah. Very good. Well, thank you very much for your okay. time. Yeah.